Hi, welcome to Fixom Network. Today I will show you how to set up Linksys EA9300 wireless router without installation CD or smart setup wizard. We will do it manually. Also, I will tell you what is the default password of this router. We will also discuss about how to set up the guest network access for this router. And we will also discuss how to upgrade the firmware of this router. So let's start with the installation of this uh, Linksys EA9300 wireless router without installation CD. We will do it manually. First of all, you will need to connect your internet modem to the Linksys router. There are five different ports on this router. The first one is uh, WAN or internet port. On this port, you will need to connect your internet modem. So uh, grab a cable, the ethernet cable connected to the internet modem and the internet or WAN port on the Linksys router. Also, there are four different ports uh, called as LAN or LAN ports. So these are the ports to connect your computer to the router. So get one computer and connect the computer to the one of the four ports on this Linksys router. So this is how we connect the computer and the modem to the Linksys router. After that, on, that, on this computer, open the internet browser. It could be Safari or Firefox or Chrome, any internet browser. And in the address bar, type in the number 192.168.1.1. This is the default IP address of this Linksys router. So when you enter this IP address, hit enter, it will ask you for the username and password. The default password of Linksys EA9300 wireless router is admin. Do not type anything in the username box, leave it as it is. So nothing in the username box and password admin. Now, if the password is not working, the default password is not working, then you might have changed the password of this router. If this is the initial installation, then you can reset the router. When you reset the router, it will come back to the factory default settings and it will accept that default password. So on the back side of the router, uh, there is a small reset button. Press and hold it for at least 15 seconds. You will see the power light is blinking. Then after 15 seconds, release the reset button. Unplug the power cable to the router. Wait for 10 seconds and plug it back in. Now wait for 30 seconds so that the power light will be solid. This is how we reset this router. Now try it again. In the address bar, type in the number 192.168.1.1. It will ask you for the username and password. Do not type anything in the username and in the password, type in admin. If that doesn't work, then try admin in the username and admin in the password. Now it will open the setup page of this router. This is the page where you can see all the settings of this router. You can change the settings of this router. All these steps are there on my website also. That is www.fixhomenetwork.com slash blog. So you can go to the website and you will see all the steps there also. There is a link in the description box. Uh, you can go to the link and you will see all the steps on the website also. All right, so this is how the setup page of the Linksys router will look like. So when you type in 192.168.1.1, it will show you the show you the setup page of the Linksys router like this. So first of all, we are going to change the internet settings of this router so that uh, your modem and your router will communicate with each other and your computer will be able to access the internet through the router. So basically we are changing the internet settings of this router. Now on this page, you will see this tab connectivity. Click on connectivity. All right, and here you will see the tab internet settings. Go to internet settings. All right. So on this uh, in this video, I will show you how to change the settings for the cable internet service provider, the DSL internet service provider for PPPoE connection, and the internet connection with the static IP address given by your internet service provider. So we will be discussing about uh, three different uh, types of uh, internet service providers. So first of all, let's go with the cable internet service provider. You're on the internet settings tab. Here you will see a small checkbox, MAC address clone. Enable that uh, box and click on the button clone my pieces MAC. All right, and this is uh, <coughs> going to clone the MAC address of your main computer and it will assign that MAC address to the router. So your modem will think that uh, the router, the computer is connected to the modem. So click on clone my pieces MAC and then click on apply. 
all right that's all for the cable internet service provider internet settings now let's move on to dsl internet service provider with pppoe connection now here you will see internet type the type of internet connection so click on edit and change the connection type to pppoe change it to pppoe then enter the username and password given by your internet service provider in in case of pppoe connection the internet service provider will give you username and password to get connected to the internet so you just need to enter that username and password here and then click on apply all right that's it for the dsl connection now let's move on to the static ip address settings change the type of internet connection to static ip then enter the ip addresses given by your internet service provider you will need ipv4 address the subnet mask the default gateway dns1 and dns2 so all this information uh, will be given by your internet service provider or you may have it in this case you don't need to clone the mac address you just, kind of, you just uh, leave it as it is and once you enter the ip addresses click on apply all right so that's it for the static ip address uh, here you will see different options also if you have pptp connection l2tp and if you want to set up this uh, router as a bridge uh, router you can change it to bridge mode also all right so we are done with the internet settings of this router this way your modem and your router will start communicating with each other now the next option will be to change the wireless settings of this router all right here is a small wireless icon go to wireless all right so here you can change the settings of your wireless network you can see it here there are two different types of wireless network 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz 1 and 5 gigahertz 2 so here you can change the name of the wireless network then type in the password again for the 5 gigahertz you can change the wireless network name and change the password i will suggest you to uh, keep different wireless network names so that you can identify which one is 2.4 gigahertz and which one is 5 gigahertz you can keep the same passwords for both but change the name if you want to disable 5 gigahertz here is an option to disable the 5 gigahertz of wireless network if you want to disable 2.4 gigahertz you can disable that one also so after changing the name and password click on apply so this is how we set up your wireless network all right once the wireless settings are done you can go to your wireless computer and try to connect to the wireless network you will see these wireless networks if your uh, wireless computer is capable of uh, 5 gigahertz you will see both the networks there try to connect to the network it will ask you for the password type in the wireless password that you just set up so this is the wireless network password all right so once you are connected to the wireless network you will be able to access internet on the wireless uh, computer also if you have any wireless uh, uh, device or any other mobile also you can go to your mobile and try to connect to the wireless network all right so we are done with the wireless settings also all right so now let's move on to the next section that is a uh, guest network access this router has a uh, capacity to uh, provide you guest network for guest people so if you have any guests coming in you can uh, give them access to the guest network so this will be totally a different network than your main network so your guests can connect to the guest network and they will have a separate password and separate uh, network name so here's an option guest network or guest access click on guest access now you can turn it on turn on the guest uh, access then here is an option to change the settings of the guest network you can enter the network name it could be 2.4 gigahertz or it can be uh, 5 gigahertz you can disable if you want you can disable any one of them and keep one uh, guest network access or if you want you can keep both the networks now you can change the network name and here is the password for the guest network so it will be a different password so it will be completely different password so this router will have three different passwords just remember the file the router password that we discussed earlier that was admin the default password that is to access the setup page of the router the second password is the wireless network uh, password that was uh, the last password we discussed about the wireless settings and this is the third password that is 
the guest network passwords. So just remember there are three different types of passwords. Now here you can change the number of guests to be connected to the wireless network. You can allow five, giga, five gates or you can allow 10 guests to connect to the wireless network. So this is how you set up the wireless guest access. Once done, you can click on OK. It will change the settings. Now let's discuss how to upgrade the firmware of this router. To upgrade the firmware of the router, first you need to download the firmware of this router. So just log on to the Linksys website that is www.linksys.com and download the firmware file for your router. Select the proper model number and download the firmware file and save it on your computer. All right. Now then go to connectivity tab on the setup page of the router. Now here you will see the option to choose the file. So you need to choose that uh, firmware file that you have downloaded on this computer. Now remember your computer must be connected to the router with the ethernet cable. Do not try to upgrade the firmware using a wireless computer. So just uh, connect your computer to the router with the ethernet cable. All right, now choose the file and then click on start. This will start upgrading the firmware of this router. Once done, it will show you that the firmware upgrade is done. After that, uh, just so wait for 10 seconds, unplug the power and plug it back in. All right, uh, now let's move on to the next section, how to change the password of this router. Now on the connectivity tab, on the basic tab, you will see the router password. By default, the password is admin. If you want to personalize the password, if you want to customize the password, here is the option. You can click on edit. Now enter the new password and the hint and then click on apply. This will change the password of your router. All right. So just remember, as I said earlier, there are three different passwords, the router password, the wireless network password and the guest network access password. So these are the three passwords uh, you need to remember. If you want, you can just write down those uh, passwords and uh, put it on the back side of the uh, router. You can stick it on the back side of the router if you want. So you, you don't need to remember that. All right, so we are done with the settings of this router. First, we change the internet settings of this router. Then we change the wireless network settings. Then we change the guest network access settings. After that, we upgraded the firmware of the router. Then we change the password of the router. If you have any other questions or if you want to make any changes, advanced setting changes, and you don't know how to change it, you can put comment on this uh, video or you can go to my website and put comment on the website also. And I'll, I'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.